Hello everyone. Business consultation for former cult members. I think that's important because you have so many people who are reliant upon Jehovah's Witness family and or Jehovah's Witness uh, spouse. You know, people ask, well, why don't we have more former Bethelites talking about their experiences at Bethel uh, on YouTube? Well, I can tell you one reason is a person having worked at Bethel, most likely they're reliant on Jehovah's Witness family to fall back on. They have to have a place to stay. They have to have a place uh, to go. And then even once they get there, it takes time for them to get back on their feet. I've heard of situations where a person moves back with Jehovah's Witness family. They make them go to meetings uh, and all those sorts of things. They finally move out Things don't go well, then they have to move back with Jehovah's Witness family. So when are they going to be able to uh, make YouTube videos about their Bethel experiences? When are they going to be able to go to the next uh, protest at Warwick? They can't go to that. They're reliant on their family or they're reliant on their spouse. See, so business consultation what I'm uh, talking about is having a conversation where the topic is what moves can you make to make yourself independent you have people coming out of a cult or, or just religion period they could be former Jehovah's Witnesses they could be former Scientology. Uh, they could be coming out of Islam or, or, or what have you. Oftentimes, those types of people uh, are not in the state of, of mind when they're leaving that type of uh, situation to make sound business decisions. I see it so often. I talk to a lot of people. I've talked to a lot of people. I've talked to people that are older. And they're telling me, like Marcus, you know, I'm going to have to uh, work until my 80s before I can retire. Because I spent so much time in an organization that taught me my kids would never even graduate let alone me be 50 years old, uh, just now thinking about my financial future. So consultation, being able to talk to people about advice, business advice. What should I do in this situation? I'm leaving Bethel. I have XJW family. What are some uh, ideas that you have based off this particular situation or that particular situation that could help that person become independent. The quicker people are independent from ex from Jehovah's Witness family, from Muslim family, from Scientology family, from, from whatever religion people are flooding out of now, Whenever they get to the point where they no longer need that support, then your, your, your XJW rallies, your protests, your XJW meetups, discussion groups, uh, where people don't have to hide their face to get on the uh, Facebook groups like XJW Recovery Group 3 and, and 
then those things really can take off because it's nice to have uh, protests. Uh, it's, it's great to have meetups. It's awesome to have groups online where Jehovah's, ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, ex-anything can get on and get a little emotional support. You know, talk to somebody that, that's been there. Uh, but what's, what's needed, one thing that is needed is the ability to get away from cult members, from family that are in a cult. Because as often as Let's use me for an example. As often as I call you up or I get on Facebook and get on XJW Recovery uh, Group 3, as long as I remain in an environment where people are putting pressure on me, people are putting stress on me, my own relatives are acting in an unloving manner, I'm always going to be in a bad way until I get away from that. You want to have the support groups there, but in order to get to a point where you no longer need that support, you're going to need to get out of the situation or away from the situation that's hurting you. Uh, people can't do that unless they're financially stable. Now, I know there are people that are business savvy. Uh, there's people that know the ins and outs of business. Uh, there are people that work in HR probably. Hiring people anyway. <laughs> uh, you know, may as well hire somebody that's trying to get away, trying to get independent, trying to get on their feet after being laid off of Bethel or trying to get on their feet, a woman trying to get on her feet after uh, getting out of a bad marriage with an abusive elder uh, and she hadn't worked, hadn't had any savings. You know, when people are on their own, look at this view here, people can only do what they know to do. In other words, that, that woman that uh, is getting out of a bad marriage, she hasn't worked, she's got kids to take care of, uh, she only knows to do what she knows. If there's these awesome business opportunities out there and she doesn't know about them, she can't take advantage of that. Likewise with Bethelites, you're, you're in shock. You just left a place that you thought was gonna be where you serve God for the rest of this system of things. Uh, what now? You haven't thought about that. A lot of people that leave the cult, they, they, they haven't thought their future out. That's a big deal. They haven't even thought their future out. They, they, they don't, they don't, maybe aren't that good with a resume, you know. Now, now that's, there's resources out there for resumes and, and, and what have you, but consultation, what do you put on the resume exactly? You know, you just pioneered your whole life or, or you just left Bethel. See, we know about those things. We understand those things because we've been there. See, so getting together a group of people, 937-789-4029. If you're looking for some, some ideas, some business ideas, you don't want to be working until you're 80 years old. 
what's some ideas what, what what's going on what how can I find financial uh, security there uh, maybe you're stuck with JW family you want out of the cult you can't get out of the cult because you can't afford to live on your own well there's there's probably people in our community that are very business savvy they may have a job with the government they may know of openings they know who you need to talk to to be able to get a job where you can get away from that that cult get away from that mess now I, 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 I preference this I specify that I'm, I'm talking about uh, consultation business advice not telling people what to do not I told you to do this I told you to do that we want to move away get away from trying to control people and uh, make people believe what we believe none of that well I'm a Catholic and uh, I know some people looking for employees but uh, are you a Catholic you know none of that stuff we need to get to a point where we're helping people get away from a cult get away from people who are putting pressure on them uh, suicides go down all of that goes down because the people are being moved away from the source of the pain and oftentimes if you're right in the environment where your mother won't even speak to you your father won't speak to you your brothers won't speak to you and you are really close really close going up and now you have to see that every day you want to be able to get out of state go somewhere else Sometimes in order to, to, to do that, you just need to get on the phone with someone with the, the know-how, the business know-how. You have a lot of people who just grow up in, uh, you know, in, an advantaged position, a privileged position. Oftentimes, the, the kids of people who are well off end up well off just because of the business connections of their parents. They're not necessarily smarter than anyone else. They just have people they can get on the phone with and talk to that know things to help them make decisions. This is what we're talking about. But, you know, I just want to emphasize that if we get on the phone with someone who's leaving a bad marriage it's 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 about giving that person advice it's not about trying to make that person join your religion or make that person an atheist if the person is not an atheist or make them agnostic or it's, it's not about trying to make people do what you want them to do it's about helping people advice give them the advice if they take it great if they don't that's fine. So again, comment down below. Let me know what you think about business consultation for uh, ex-cult members, ex-religious people, what have you. There's people coming out of all kinds of religions. And... Uh, Oftentimes, in that religion is their entire support group. So I see things being able, to, you know, you know, just, just, I see things moving along very well if people can be independent. You may know someone hiring, you may be hiring. Uh, you may know of an area where there is just always people looking for employees. You may know of that area, there might be somebody that they don't know that because they're not in that particular state. I know someone, we all know someone uh, because of the video that they put out that got in the car and just drove. They got in the car and they just took off. You got a bad situation at home 
uh, tearing you up emotionally. You get in the car and you just go. You, you where where to go? You, you know what what's the business plan? You, you find all that out when you get there. You know that's that sh that should be a worst case scenario. That shouldn't be something that a lot of people have to do. Hop in the car, just go. Whether they're having to live in the car, live in the van, live wherever, that's that's unnecessary. If we have business consultation, just people getting together with the with the business know-how of what to do, how to support yourself when you're trying to break away from a religion that is your entire support group. So let me know what you think about that. Again, you can, uh, if you can't reach me on the phone, just send me a text 937-789-4. Nine, you're trying to get on your feet financially. You know, business consultation is something that can help. So give me a call, send me a text. We'll see if we can get the, the ball rolling on this. And if someone else has already done this and I just don't know about it, let me know that too so that I can just team up with them, see if I could be of any assistance. Uh, to them because I know about the meetups where people just get together and share stories. I know about protests where people get together and put on a display and let people know what the cult is uh, doing. I know about the Kingdom Hall flashing. I guess they call it flashing. Kingdom Hall where they go into the Kingdom Hall and put on a, a bit of a display there and uh, speak out there's all these things which are great if you're in a position to participate but there are many who aren't in a position to participate because they're too reliant on, on that particular religion they can't show their faces uh, so let's talk about that give me some ideas down below we'll, we'll, we'll chat about it and uh, X Walk Hill Bethlehem signing out.